Morning, Ken. Morning, Bob. Buenos dias, Waco, Pat. Morning, everybody. This is the Captain Jorge Harin, airborne up at Jetcopter 790. Fire companies and paramedics have just finished mopping up at the site of that earlier accident on the Harbor Freeway southbound, just past the four-level interchange. Now, the vehicles involved are well off to the right shoulder, but I can still see highway patrol units working this accident off to the right shoulder. The traffic is backed up in both directions, making this morning's commute into the downtown area an exercise in misery. Adding to your drive time if you're coming in from the San Fernando Valley, an accident on the Ventura Freeway eastbound between Balboa and Havenhurst in the left lane. No injuries reported, the traffic's already backed up as far as the camera control. Just coming back from breakfast? <laughs> right. Shock. Hey, Shock. Shock. You're here. I'm gone. Tough night? 17 calls. Is that right? Put out any fires? None that I'm going to be telling my grandkids about. Oh, uh, better check the fuel level. Okay. Clean tools? Uh, we use a chainsaw. Billy Boy, you see the game last night? You serious? Best game this season. The Bums finally got it all together. That's right. You catch any of it? Oh, yeah. You bet. Top half of the second, bottom of the ninth. Go Dodger Blue. Morning, Danny. Hi, Bill. You get on the block? Yeah, just came on last week. Waiting to get his feet wet. <laughs> hey, Danny. Today's your lucky day. I can feel it. I'm ready. having his party tonight on some guy's boat in the marina. <laughs> Can you picture it? Not on a full stomach. <laughs> Did you see the invitation? Under suggested attire, he puts wetsuit. <laughs> Are you going? Gotta work. Oh, come on, Paul. Give it a rest. They already gave you the gold star this month. What else do you want? A name instead of a number on my parking space. <laughs> You're dreaming. <laughs> hey, try to make it tonight. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Smiling. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, you remember. Oh, better than that. Oh, Allison, I can't believe you actually went out and bought me a present. That's so sweet. Well, there it is. So you better believe it. But you can't open it till Saturday. Oh, don't make me wait. Sorry. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's Kevin? Kevin's great. How's John? Oh, crotchety at 33. So how does it feel to be 30? 
Well, I wouldn't know. I'm only 28 turning 29. Oh, come on. No, I really am. I swear to God. <sighs> oh, now, wait a minute. Is this a sympathy present? Well, you want it back? No, go ahead and keep it. So you'll be 30 next year, but guess what? So will you. Again? See ya. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Perez, Captain Taylor's helping us. Oh, easy on the salt, okay, Perez? Yes, sir. Why, you want to die, Captain? Uh, just trying to be a little sensible, that's all. That's why you got a job. You're a sensible man. lovely as this. I'll drink to that. And half as many nights when you don't get home until 11 o'clock. Look, I know you're determined to be the most dedicated and productive employee in the entire company. That's all well and good, Susan, but it's seriously jeopardizing the prime of our lives. I'm beginning to wonder if we're not missing out on a lot more than sleep. I know. But aren't we supposed to be building a better tomorrow? I mean, isn't that what we're doing? You know what my father used to say? What? Who cares about being the wealthiest man in the graveyard? You know, you work late, then maybe I work late. Then we both work late. Pretty soon we're 65 years old. We've got financial security coming out our ears, but how many memories do we have? We have this one. Yeah, sure we do, because one of us took the time to make it possible. It's getting to be so easy to lose the time, Susan. Too easy. Where does it all go? Right? Isn't that what we're always saying? I'll tell you what. Let's do something this weekend. Okay? We'll make a memory. It's a start, isn't it? I love you. I love you, too. Diego. Not too much, Holmes. You keep working on your Spanish pretty soon. They're going to give you the key to the city. It's a little like this. <laughs> Listen, amigo, who can you spare me tonight? For the engineer of sprinkler installation. Hi, Marika. I picked the very best. Roberto and Juan. Listen, do they speak English? I picked the ones that don't. That way you can work on your Spanish all night long. Great. It's great, Diego. Listen, how do I say, don't move the drop cloth while I'm still standing on it? <laughs> Catch you later, amigo. I got a couple of pumps to shut down. Hey, you shut down those pumps, Mr. Sprinkler Engineer. What are my people supposed to use to fill their buckets? Chicken gravy? Dave, I've got no one on 30 tonight. Can you take care of it? Okay, Carlotta, no problem. Thanks. Hello. What they got you doing tonight, Eddie? Something real special, Carlotta. Changing light bulbs. Oh, lucky you got that college degree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
coming to work? Oh, no, I've been here since 8 this morning. I just had to move my car up because I'm working late. Long day. Yeah, one of many. Hi. Oh, gosh, I scared me. Sorry, I didn't know there was anybody else here. I'm sorry. It's all right. I guess it's just us, the, the very faithful or the very dull. Yeah. You're Paul, right? That's me. And you're Susan, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, you, uh, working late? Yeah, I'm hoping to finish up in a couple of hours. You? Same. Maybe I'll see you on the way out. Something going on? More false alarms. I swear we've had 10,000 this month. Yeah, well, if they ever finish installing the sprinklers, it'll quiet down. Right, except then I won't have anything to do. Oh, yes, you will. down the pumps. Roger. Both pumps are off and we've started draining the standpipes down to the 58th floor. I'm on my way up now. Copy. Five after ten, and I'm just about finished. Almost as advertised, right? I'll be home around eleven. I'll see you then. Um, Kev, I, um, I've been thinking a lot about what you said today, and, and I really meant it about this weekend. Maybe we could do something special, like fly to Vienna or something. Wait up for me, okay? Bye.
damn it. Knock it off. Preston. Yeah. I don't know for sure, but we actually might have a problem. Up on the 12th floor. Okay, 10 4. Do we have an engineer with a radio who could take a run up to 12, check on some smoke detectors? Yeah, this is Eddie down the basement. I'm on my way. Thanks, man. Gotta make a quick run up to 12 and check some smoke detectors. Calling from 600 Wilshire. Yes, I am. Do you know what the uh, intersection or the address is? It's on Hope and Wilshire Boulevard. Okay, sir. We're on our way. Let's go. Squad 4, Battalion 1, respond to the structure fire on the intersection of Wilshire and Hope. It's Hope and Wilshire. Division. Oh, all right. Thank you. Paul? Hi. You ready to knock off, too? Uh, security just called. Yeah? What's that? They think there's a fire in the building. What? Attention. This is security. We have an emergency. There's a fire in the building. Fuego! Fuego! Please evacuate to the nearest stairwell immediately. There's Repeat, the there's a fire in the building. The Please evacuate to the nearest stairwell immediately. Security! Security! Do you hear me? Please evacuate to the nearest stairwell immediately. Do you hear? Come on. These people don't understand English. Repeat the message in Spanish! Come on. 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 Come
you say? The pumps are down. There's no water. <laughs> the building's on fire. There's no damn water. I'm not going to make it. <coughs> Help me! You go Help ahead. Me. It is better, Diego. Look, look down, you see? You see, Diego? We're on the 32nd floor. We can't get an elevator to run. All the stairs are full of smoke. We need help. Can you hear us? We need help. I'm going up. Are you crazy? Try to get a hold of him and tell him I'm on my way. Hey, don't do it, man. Forget it. You'll die up there. <laughs> OCD from Battalion 1. We've got the entire east side and about three-fourths of the south side of what looks to be the 11th or 12th floor fully involved with fire. I'm going to need five additional task forces, five additional engines, five task force five engines, and five more chief officers. Five chief officers. Roger. Okay, Cap, here's what I want you to do. Split up your task force. Put your engine on fire attack and the rest of your task force on lobby control. We'll set the command post at that corner of the intersection. OCD from Chief Sterling, go. We've got a major emergency high-rise yep. fire chief, first interstate bank on Wilshire and Hope. I'm on my way. if we have to pass the fire. Can we make it either way? The doors in the stairwell are locked on every floor. That's right, we couldn't get out even if we wanted to. It's like a chimney in there. I guess that means we're stuck here, aren't we? Come on! Come on, get in, get in! Thank you. Are you okay? Are you okay? What's wrong with the clothes? Hit it again, hit it again. Why won't it close? Security? Security! You guys okay? Thank you. 
get these people out of the building through one of the garage exits. Nobody goes out those doors. Understood? You have a list of the names of the people in the building so we can start doing a head count? Security people, maintenance people, yeah. You know, office workers, not unless they signed in until they say we're working after hours. But they don't always do that. Okay, start with what you've got. Then let's try to figure out if anybody's still upstairs. Here's the building book. What floor are you calling from, sir? We're on the 37th floor. Two people on the 37th floor. Can you give me the extension number, please? That's 3705. And your names? Paul DeWitt, Susan Lowell. Okay, have you checked the stairwells for smoke, sir? <laughs> the stairwells are impossible. We checked we check four of them. Yeah, we've we've already got smoke all around us on the floor. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right, I understand. Okay. Let me stay. Hey, Stephanie, uh, you did the right thing by staying here. And the fire department's in the building. Somebody will call us back soon. Is this how serious the fire was? They don't know yet. They haven't, <laughs> haven't gotten a full report. that somebody mismarked the damn key yo billy send a field check yours if it doesn't work break it down roger give me the tool all right stand clear I see from fire attack. Barely heard. Ten floors clear for staging. We're moving up to the fire floor. Roger. Heavy smoke. No fire. OCD from Chief Sterling on nine. Chief Sterling from OCD, go. Yeah, I want a complete 360 degree survey from Air Ops ASAP. Sterling for Fire One, do you read? Fire One, go. We're looking at the 12th floor now, Chief. Smoke is curling around the structure. Flames are lapping up the outside maybe 50 feet. We think we saw some people on the roof. We're heading over right now. That's a rubber. We need to get involved. Available handy talkers as soon as possible. Well, sure, I see, Roger. We'll work on it.
Assigned to lobby control, engines 10 and 3, task force 9 and squad 4 have all been assigned to fire attack. Engines 9 and 10 to water supply, and battalion 1 is now Wilshire Incident Command. Wilshire IC, roger. Go doubling the existing assignment and to give us three more battalion chiefs. Also, we've got ten more rescue ambulances on the way, and Air Ops is bringing in two more choppers. What about civilians? Any of the civilians in the building? No, we haven't been able to determine that. OCD got a call from a couple of people, said they were trapped on the 37th floor. We tried calling them back, they didn't answer. You got that extension number? Yeah, Milner does. Milner. Hi, I am, sir. All right, have OCD tried. Yes, sir. OCD? They don't answer. We have no way of knowing if they're still on that floor. They might have left, the lines might have fried, we just don't know. How about elevators? Any unaccounted for? Lobby control says 10. 10? All right, I want to find out where they are. I know we can't do anything about it now, but I want to be ready to move the minute we can. Get out people trapped in elevators all over this building. Anything? No, sir. OCD reports no answer. Have them keep trying every few minutes. Every extension on the 37th floor. Yes, sir. You verify the HVAC system is off? Yeah, the air conditioning went off automatically at 6 p.m. LOCD, I want two more task forces, two additional battalion chiefs, and I'm requesting that Division 3 be assigned to the fire. Yes, sir. I want a structural engineer sent down here. Somebody that knows this building better than I do. Knows what it's made of, how long it's going to keep standing if we can't work a fast miracle. Joe 
Mike Doyle, Chief. We were working on the sprinkler system. We had to turn off the fire pumps tonight, about an hour before the fire started. What? The pumps are down now? Yeah, the only water you're getting is what's stored in the pipes. Why are we just being told about this now, Mr. Doyle? The air unit just pulled them off the roof, sir. I was in the building, 58th floor. We were lucky we got out when we did. If you can get me back into the pump room, I'll have them back on in five minutes. Captain, get the plan some gear. Hand him over to engine 17, tell him to assist him any way he needs. Go. <coughs> Chief starting from 5-6. Fire 6, go. The north side of 12 is blasting out real good now, and it looks like it's lapping out of the 13th, too. That's the heaviest fire on the north. Roger, Fire 6. going into that building under this storm of glass. Done. When Renoso and Powers get here, I want to brief you face to face. I'll be telling stories about this one for years, Chief. Well, how does it end? Dad. Gotta get some air in here. What are you doing? Truck three, take stairway 6A and go to 10th floor staging. Truck nine, take stairway 5A and go to 10th floor staging.
birthday this weekend. <coughs> Happy birthday. <coughs> a girlfriend of mine gave me a present this morning. <coughs> Why don't you open it now? I was thinking about it, but I promised her I'd wait till my birthday this weekend. <coughs> Probably just something silly anyway. I think the only reason she bought it was because she was feeling sorry for me because she thought I was turning 30. <laughs> How old are you? 30. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm over the hill. <coughs> and I'm an Aries. It's a fire sign. <laughs> Funny. Try the stairs again. We won't make it. Well, we don't know that for sure. Well, I think we do. <laughs> it would be worth a try. <laughs> We'd be dead, Paul. <laughs> it's as simple as that. We made the right choice. Even the fire department said we made the right choice. Yeah. <laughs> now all we have to do is live with it. up there. Hey, make sure your fouls on. You spray water. Oh, wow, this is Red stuff turns to steam. You feel it all the way to the backs of your eyeballs. The ceiling's coming down. One bottle duck Keeps up grabbing at you, trying to tie you up. <coughs> These are 30-minute air bottles. 15 minutes. yourselves. This is what we're going to remember. Try some water. Dying at first. They got some guys scrounging around for some now. Radio's hardly working all up here. Just about useless. And it takes a a long time walking up and down those stairs carrying a message. <coughs> We're gonna beat this thing. You just wait and see. Is that right, Danny? <coughs> right, Perez. <coughs> well, I don't know about you boys, but I got tickets to tomorrow's game. And you better believe I'm going to be there. <laughs> Hi, honey. It's me. It's about uh, 5 after 10, and I'm just about finished. Almost as advertised, right? I'll be home around 11. I'll see you then. Kev, I... Uh... I've been thinking a lot about what you said today, and, and I really meant it about this weekend. Maybe we could do something special, like fly to Vienna or something. Wait up for me, okay? Hi, Susan. It's Allison. In case you haven't already heard, don't bother coming to work tomorrow. The building's burning down. See ya. Oh, by the way, you can open the present if you want to. Hundreds of Los Angeles firefighters have been working for over an hour and a half to gain control 
over what's already being called the worst high-rise fire in the history of the city. Flames have already consumed most of the 12th floor of the 62-story bank building, the tallest building in Los Angeles. <laughs> Continue with tonight's movie. up again in that smoke. Even with 60-minute air bottles, I don't care what shape they're in. I gotta let them try. What about the two people on the 37th floor? No answer on the phone, not on any phone on the entire 37th floor. Maybe they got out before it got bad. Went up or down. If they tried to get out, they wouldn't have lasted five minutes in one of those stairways. Then maybe they're still upstairs, and they just can't hear the phone. The point is, there's not a damn thing we can do about it, not now. I've got a dozen search and rescue squads standing by, ready to move in the minute the fire's knocked out, but not before. You know, sir, I want you to take over the 10th floor stage, okay? Get it in shape, get it for this one. Just have you take a look at this. Of course, 12 and 13, they're right off, they're gone. What we gotta do, if we've got any kind of prayer of sleep in this building, is slow the fire on 14 and 15, drive it into the core of the building, so that when it reaches 16, it doesn't get there with this kind of size or heat. Is that understood? Okay, Chief Powers, I want you and your men here on 14 and 15. Understood, sir. Go ahead, you got 16. That's where we make our final stand. Powers can reduce the heat on his floors. You got a hell of a chance to stop him, but if he can't. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's go to work. Good luck. This is Air Ops. We've got Fire 6 standing by with the light on the individual on the 50th floor. I think he's seen us, so we will stay out here just to let him know he isn't being forgotten. idea. Dizzy. No. 
many breaths in here right now. Not enough. Reeves, you sent for me. I'm a structural engineer. Oh, talk to me, Miss Reeves. All right. We've got a 15-year-old, 62-story structural steel building. It's got glass curtain walls built around the center core. You've probably got 2,000 degrees of fire spreading horizontally as well as vertically. I know who the builder was on this, Chief, and he's got credentials higher than the roof. I'm sure he does, but if it stays too hot enough, we all know that's going to really matter. Now, tell me what's really possible, Miss Reeves possible, Chief Sterling, is that the building could break apart with heat at its greatest right there. The top 50 floors could end up a pile of rubble on the street. How great is that possibility? I can't answer that. I'm sorry. There's no way of knowing not from out here. All I can tell you is that it could happen. If we have civilians still unaccounted for, maybe trapped inside, and over 200 firefighters, how much time do I have, Miss Reeves? Do you really believe you have a chance of beating this fire, Chief? That's my intention. Can you do it in the next two hours? I don't know that. Because if it burns past the 17th floor, I think it's gone one way or the other. Roger that. OCD? Oh, There's a real butt taker up there, Chief. Yeah, tell me about it, son. Watch yourself. Stairwells are untenable. It is impossible to get to the individual on the 50th floor by the stairs. We're going to we're going to have to try something else.
something I can do for you. I just, I want to talk to whoever's in charge. I think my girlfriend is still in the building on the 37th floor. No one will tell me anything. Just calm down. Last time anybody spoke to anybody on those floors was several hours ago. Well, what does that mean? Only that we don't know if they might have left before or if they're still there and the lines are down. So no one's even tried to get to them? Miller. Yes. I'm Chief Sterling. You are? Kevin Miles. Let me try to explain the situation to you, Mr. Miles, all right? Now, each one of these men you're looking at is carrying a hundred pounds of gear. They're in superb physical condition, but it still takes them a minute to walk a flight of stairs, up or down. Now, above the 10th floor in this building, they have to use air because all the stairways are completely filled with smoke. Now, I send them a search and rescue team at this time to look for two individuals who may or may not still be on that floor. They would have to walk up 27 flights of stairs past the staging area, locate the two individuals, and then bring them back down another 27 floors. Now, that's 54 minutes under ideal conditions. Without any search time, they will carry 60 minutes on its fare. Doing the best we can, Mr. Miles. Have you been up on the floor tonight, Bowman? Four times, sir. You have a radio? No, sir. You do now. From now on, you off the floor and by my side. You stick to me like glue. Whenever I want a message sent to IC or OCD or Air Ops, or even God, you're the one that sends it. Understood? Yes, sir. Does God have call letters? Uh, uh, we're going to get along just fine, Bowman. Can you whistle, Bowman? You people have been doing a tremendous job tonight, but your housekeeping stinks. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do for starters. I'm going to ask all you firefighters who haven't been up on the fire floor tonight to move over to this side of the floor. All the rest of you, all the rehabs, over there. Makes it a lot easier for me to keep inventory. From this point on, nobody goes upstairs for any reason unless they're taking the place of a firefighter who's come down. And Mr. Baldwin, he'll be keeping tabs of all those moves. That means everybody's going to have to clear through him. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This unholy mess of air bottles. I want a couple of you people to come over here and sort through them. Give me two completely separate areas. One for empties, one for full. Baldwin. Yes, sir. Get air ops to tell the chopper pilots to stop flying so close to these windows. They're blowing smoke back into the building. A couple of you guys over there grab some pickaxes. Let's knock these windows out. Let's get the ventilation Go away in here. from the building. We got too much wind up here. Go down to IC. Tell them that some glass is going to be coming down their way. Watch their heads. I see this is Battalion Nine. And then tell them we need some uh, drinking glass. water, some juice. Watch yourselves. How about some of Chaco burritos? <laughs> we also need water. And then let's put this fire out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
I thought about writing a letter, too. Yeah, why didn't you? Maybe for the same reason you didn't. I'm not ready to think we're gonna die here, either. <laughs> so I couldn't bring myself to say goodbye. <laughs> Are you married? No. You? No, but I've been living with someone for seven years. His name's Kevin. He's wonderful. <laughs> Where's Kevin tonight? Oh, I'm sure he's at home wondering where I am. <laughs> he's probably thinking of little things to do to surprise me. He does that a lot. It's nice. What do you do? I guess I plan for the future. And I don't think we're going to last much longer up here. What's with these bottles? <laughs> I've been thinking about what you said about trying the stairs. What do you think? <laughs> Smoky air coming into the bottle gets filtered by this wet paper towel. And then we can breathe the clean air out of this end. My God. Looks ridiculous. Of the first diving suit. But I'm gonna try it in the stairwell. Will you come with me? Paul, oh, if it works, we can get out. It's worth trying, isn't it? Company on the roof wants you to send to the 50th floor on a window washing rig that they found up there. Got anybody with them that knows how to run the thing? No, not exactly. We don't need any more drama than we already got. Remind Captain Driscoll that we got power outages all over the building, then tell him his request is denied. Yes, sir. That chopper still have the individual on that floor inside? No, sir, we lost it about five minutes ago. When are we going to get something going our way? Continue with tonight's movie. Chief, Doyle, how are the 
Bob's holding up. So far, so good. I want you to know, I think I can get the sprinklers operational a few floors above the fire. Well, if we turn them on, what happens to the water we're using to fight the fire? No guarantees, Chief. You could lose it. I can't risk that. Well, what's the alternative? Stop it on the 16th. And if you can't? Well, if I can't, I got crews fighting five floors of fire for all the resources I've got. So you'll lose the building. No, Mr. Doyle, I won't lose this building. Let me go up there, Chief. That's out of the question. Give me some gear and a couple of men. Forget it. We can set up the sprinklers on 17 through 19. I can fix them so we can turn them on by operating one valve on each floor, but not until you give the order. You're a civilian, Mr. Doyle. Listen to me for a minute, Chief. We got high-rises all over the city that aren't equipped with sprinklers because they were built prior to 74 and there was no law saying they had to be. The company that owns this one spent three and a half million dollars in this system and nobody even asked them. Chief, it's my job to get them set up and working. I figure the extra effort's do them. Don't you? Look, you've already done more than your share. I heard there's people trapped inside. At least one, maybe three. I'd like to try and help, Chief. Listen, don't ask me to give a civilian authorization to walk into that building past five floors of fire, up 19 flights of stairs to an uncertain destination. Mr. Doyle, you want to help? I'll give you all the spare firefighters I can. You make sure they have all the right tools, but you're going to stand right over there and talk to them over that radio. Let them be your hands and do whatever needs to be done. Now, you make that call. Okay. Thanks. Milner? Yes, sir. He's going to need some gear. Make sure he gets it off. What can I do for you? Pipe wrench, crowbar, and some piping. You got it. OCD. <coughs> I was invited to a party. When? Tonight. <coughs> Last night. On a, on a big boat in the marina. Weird, huh? That's where I could have been. <coughs> I should have been. On an old ocean full of water. God, why didn't I go? Why did I stay? short of air bottles. Did you see about sending me up 200 more? You hike up four different stairwells. You see four completely different fires. We're just running out of bodies. It's as simple as all that. You need to send me up more firefighters. Roger, I copy that. We're bringing in as many companies as we can get, and we're sending them up to you as soon as they get here. Roger. Bowen. Take Perez and Anderson. Go to 14 and hold that floor. Yes, sir. Are they letting you up again? You bet. You guys are both coming with me. Stand by. Sir, we have a police department unit that wants to use one of our helicopters as a platform to shoot out some windows. Do you repeat that, Miller? What it is, sir, it's an offer from Air Ops from a police unit to shoot out some windows on the 50th floor because we still have one person trapped there. And I guess either an LAPD or a county sheriff sharpshooter is ready to do that. To air ops and any sharpshooter who's listening, this is Chief Sterling. Please be advised that that's a negative. Request is denied. Repeat, request to shoot out windows on any floor is denied. We're fighting a fire here, gentlemen. Not making a Clint Eastwood movie. Chief Sterling from air ops on this dude. Find another stairwell! The heat's not so bad in this one! I see from engine 9, we've located a stairway under the helipad. We're going to attempt to rescue the civilian on the 50th floor. Do you hear that? What? I got a helicopter. Didn't hear it. <coughs> Paul. What? I 
we're really sorry that we never got a chance to know each other. I mean, before tonight. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I don't want to die up here. <coughs> Me either. <coughs> I think we're going to. <coughs> You hear that? What? It's a helicopter. <laughs> <coughs> 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 wants us to do. And Doyle, next time do your own damn plumbing. Will do. Good work, Captain. Captain Wyler's ready, Chief. They can turn the sprinklers on whenever you say. Planning to use them, Chief? Well, only as a final option. But I'm just about there. Some of those floors may not be able to stand the weight of the water. I'm aware of that, Miss Reeves. How much time do you think I have? Maybe 30 minutes.
Miss Bowen. We don't have enough air to stay up there this long. Cap! Get up to the 14th floor, fast. We may have some people down. Move, quickly. Let's go. Come on, let's go. We're out of air. No. I'm staying. I'm not leaving this floor. You go get help. Baldwin, I gotta get out. I can't breathe. Hang on, Danny. We can't stop now. We're pushing it back. We need help up here. Give me the nozzle and swallow me up. Raise Chief Lloyd. Chief Lloyd? This is Chief Lloyd. Chief Sterling is requesting a size up, sir. We've got smoke and a lot of heat on the 17th floor, but no fire. Repeat, no fire on 17. Get Chief Powers. Chief Powers? Chief Powers? We'll sure I see from Powers on Channel 11. Powers, go. Tell Chief Sterling his plan's working. He may have turned the corner. We're bringing the fire in toward the center on 14 and 15, narrowing it down like we planned. Tell Chief Floyd to hold it on 16 at all costs. Just might lick this thing. Chief Powers from my sea, that is a Roger. Raise Air Ops, give me a report. Yes, sir. Air Ops? Northside's pretty active on the 16th floor, Chief, but less than before. I don't want to jinx it, but the fire seems to be lying down a little on the lower floors. Fire one from Air Ops, Roger. I see from Air Ops, did you copy fire one size up? Doyle. Yeah, Chief. We'll hold off on those sprinklers. Now. He's gonna make him and bring him out. Have search and rescue come from base. Go to a staging floor and stand by, huh? Yes, sir. I see from Air Ops. Air Ops, go. 
We're reporting no more fire lapping up the building. Repeat, the fire is no longer lapping the structure. Air ops from Wilshire IC, I copy and roger. As soon as it's possible, I want a search team sent immediately to the 37th floor to find those people who are trapped up there. And I want the five floors immediately above 16 to check for any extension of the fire. Yes, sir. The rest of the building gets divided into five floor increments. I want one search and rescue team for each five floors. And I want teams sent out to every location where we've charted missing elevators. Many of them are between floors, break through the walls. I want them found and I want them open. Yes, sir. Pray that they're empty. Here she is. She's over here. Are you up here by yourself? Relax. Just relax. Just relax. Relax. Breathe deep. Okay. Is there anyone else up here with you? All right, you stay here with her. We're going to try and find this other person. Don't worry. You're going to be okay. Get you out of here soon. from truck nine. Truck nine, go. We have two civilians on the 37th floor. Both are suffering from severe smoke inhalation. And we're bringing them down ASAP. Have the paramedics standing by. Do you copy? Roger, truck nine, copy. Okay, get some help and get him out of here. We're gonna go up to 38 and we're gonna continue the search. Let's go. So go. Are you there, Chief? Yeah, go, Chief. I'm up here with Chief Powers and Chief Lloyd, and a bunch of rowdy firefighters <laughs> who just weren't going to get me, Chief. I show it to be 2.19 in the morning, and you get the honors, Chief. All interested parties from Wilshire IC, Chief Sterling has declared this fire knocked down at 0219.
chief, every passenger elevator checks out clean. No one was stranded on any of them. Thank God. But they've confirmed one death. One of the building engineers on the service elevator, 12th floor. Chief, excuse me. down now. She's okay? Well, they both took in a lot of smoke, but she is conscious. So where will they be bringing her up? Right there. It'll be a little while, though. Yeah, I know. It takes a while to walk down 37 flights of stairs, right? That's right. It'll be all right. Okay, thanks. She's okay. Thank you. 